All right there, I don't usually do this, but this is the official Dragon's Den YouTube page. And if we just have a little scan down, I'll have a look at some random ones. We've got one from two days ago, 56,000. 12 days ago, 68,000. A month ago, 91,000. Let's get it down a bit further. Uh, four months ago, 67,000. Four months ago, 13,000. 51,000, let's move it down. Uh, eight months ago, 140,000, 117,000. So you get the idea. It, 442,000 there, eight months ago. Nine months ago, 115,000. So you can understand why I got very excited when I saw Derek Cousins' flow signals coming in at over 1.5 million. Let's do it. Hello there, you wonderful bastards. Now, you might be able to hear the ceiling fan, but even though it's nearly 9 o'clock here, it's still a cool 30 degrees, so we'll just have to make do. Crack on, Dragon's Den. <laughs> I think this one's from about 2010. My name's Derek Cousins. The company name is Flow Signals. I'm looking for £50,000 for 10% of the equity. This is a no entry sign. <laughs> now, there's already something ridiculous about this. You know, when you, when you pitch something and you treat people like morons, that's not a good start. Even if they want to give to you, e you know, even if you're amongst friends, you can't treat people like idiots. This is a no entry sign. You know, you know, water's wet. It's not, a, it's psychologically, it will repel people. Now, everybody knows what they mean. <laughs> well, why did you tell us then? But some people manage to miss them. Now, that's no big deal if it's just the slip road to the shops. But when it's the slip road to the M4, the M5 or the M8, it's a whole different scenario. Now, there's something wrong with our man here. Derek Cousins is his name. And I'm looking at the bags under his eyes. I'm looking at the drawn face. Now, I can only speculate, but I get the impression this is going to be terrible. This is going to be terrible. I mean, I've already seen it said on the thing something like, um, this wins worst invention ever on Dragon's Den. I mean, I don't know who writes the titles for these on the YouTube channel. But, you know, this is a sort of bloke whose wife might have died, and I'm not laughing at that, or more likely divorced him because he got made redundant and has sat in his shed pissing around with trying to reinvent the wheel. And there's just something a bit painful about his boat race. Just the expression. I could be wrong. He might get a fortune. This could be an amazing idea. But he's already talking about road signs not working. Now, I'm not a driver, but they seem to have worked pretty well and have remained unchanged for, what, 100 years? <laughs> Go on, Derek. Fill me in. Look at them face on and they're fine. But there are actually very few junctions where you will see them face on. You see the side on view, which can be extremely limiting. So... I mean, like I said, I don't drive, but surely you don't see the side... So you don't see the side of a sign that you're meant to see, unless I got drunk and twisted the signs around like I used to do, which has probably hospitalised a few people. <laughs> we fit a flow signal. It's red in colour. <laughs> it, we fit a flow signal. It's red in colour. There's that sort of, you know, that sort of immaturity again. It's red in colour. Yeah, we can see that. I'm, I, it might, I'm not getting at him. I just want to, you know, this is, a, this is a classic thing with pitching. You know, not just on Dragon's Den, but wh whenever you want to... You know, whenever you're communicating with someone, don't patronise them. It, it just doesn't go down well. 
It's mimicking the traffic that is coming towards you. It's mimicking the traffic. Oh, it looks like a little car driving down a black tube. It's visible for 180 degrees. It's visible in heavy rain and fog. Turn away and you'll see this in your peripheral vision. You see, this is a 1931 no entry sign and this is a 2010 no entry signal and it's much safer. This is a one-way street sign. But I, 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 I'm looking at those two together. Let's just go back there. I'm looking at these. Let's have a look at the no entry sign and the, the, the flow signal underneath. Just have a look. Entry signal, and it's much safer. This is a one-way street sign. That one-way sign, the, the, the traditional one, looks far more suitable for the purpose it's designed for. Everyone recognises it. It's huge. It's made out of reflective material, so when your lights are on it, it is bright as daylight. Poor Derek. But what... <laughs> Theo looked like he just woke up then. Look at his smirk. You see, if you go the wrong way, you see nothing. <laughs> if you see the back of a sign, you see the back of a sign. There's this tone to his voice as well. He's had this conversation with every single alcoholic in every single boozer in his hometown. And even they don't want to talk to him anymore. So we fit. That's what. That's where the missus went. He burnt her ear off about this for decades. A flow signal. This time it's angled towards the traffic that's going the wrong way down the road. It's saying to him, "Here, John, you are going the wrong way. You're going." <laughs> James Carnes giggling. You're going through a strange town. You've never been there before. <laughs> you do look like a stranger in a strange land. Oi. You know. It, he's, he's the bloke in Scooby-Doo, they take the mask off, you know, uh, he's, he's, he hasn't got a good look about him, that's all I'm saying, he's, he's, a, he's a pained man, and that's not a nice thing, I'm not laughing at that, <laughs> I'm not, I'm still not, I'm laughing at me saying I'm not laughing at it. You're coming to the traffic lights, turn right. <laughs> turn right. You have to turn right. The one thing you need to know is, is there oncoming traffic? Do I have to give way? But what tells you there's oncoming traffic? I mean, and again, he's asking multi-millionaires if they want to get involved in the most boring project ever. Even if this was going to make millions. It's dull as fuck. It's so boring. And he has weirdly managed to make it even more boring than it is on its own. Nothing. So we fit a flow signal. Oops. It's gone the way of all demos. <laughs> no, they don't all go like this. So we fit a flow signal. It's amber in colour. It's telling you there is traffic coming into the junction from this direction. And has, he, is he, has he invented traffic lights? <laughs> is that, has, has Derek invented traffic lights? That's what this is, isn't it? He's got a red one, an amber one, and a green one. Yeah, there's an issue here. I did say he'd reinvented the wheel. Any time that the traffic lights, these traffic lights, are anything other than red. <laughs> Duncan! <laughs> Solid red. You will see this burning and turning. You see... No, because it's about four inches tall, Derek. The, the 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 no entry signs are like massive. They're about three. They're what? What are they? About eighty centimeters diameter. <laughs> Jones is laughing. <laughs> Once this is fitted, you will not turn right. <laughs> so is Theo. In front of that learner driver. <laughs> just imagine people laughing at you. He's used to it though. L L L just sail on through the humiliation because this has been his life for the last twenty years. Since Derek and the flow signals got together as a couple, this has been his experience of life. There's a lesson there, people. Found the, the gear. You will not turn right in front of young Susie, who's been busy doing her makeup because someone <laughs> took behind her. <laughs> <laughs> I have to feel, that is quite funny. Young Susie busy doing her makeup. <laughs> Little Tommy playing with his Tonka truck. She'll fly forward straight into you. And you'll wait for... 
You know, I'm quite envious of the dragons. You know when you, there's a time in everyone's life, and it's when we're at school, where you get those two things. You're not allowed to laugh, and you're absolutely wanting to crack up. And it's such a, it's such a great feeling. You know, when you look at your mate in the class, and you're absolutely ready just to... You know, you do the old tooth scratcher. Remember that one when you're going... Just... <laughs> and you're not allowed. Now, weirdly, rehab's got a bit of that about it. I mean, I've been through enough of them, and you've got some of the most horrific stories being told, and, you know, you notice your mate across the room, and he, he takes a piss out of someone's horrific life, and you're just going... <laughs> I got rumbled so many times in rehab for laughing. One therapist said to me, Chris, you're only laughing because you're nervous. And I said, well, in that case, you're only having a go at me because I'm nervous. And I'd suggest everyone in this room is nervous. So you can have a go at them. <laughs> yeah, I left the next day. Left, asked to leave. It's always a fine line, isn't it? Continue flow signals. Meaden's laughing. To that car in the distance because he will be on top of you before you've finished your turn. <laughs> Thank you for listening. I'm looking for your support to get this project off the ground. Oh, did you see him ride out the laughter by smiling along with them? A broken man. A broken man is uh, Derek Cousins. This ain't going nowhere, son. There are other applications for these signals as well. What, like trains? Do trains use traffic lights as well? I think they do. Any other places where tra Airports, you could put flashing lights in airports. I wonder if they've thought about that. <laughs> I've got to talk over this because it's Sony that does me, not the BBC. Whoa, watch out, there's a flow signal saying stop. And I'm it's mimicking the way the traffic moves, don't you know? Ambitious proposal from Hertfordshire inventor Derek Cousins. He wants to revolutionise the nation's existing traffic signs and signals. But to do it, needs a £50,000 investment from the Dragons. <laughs> I actually only needed to interrupt uh, the, the long clip, but Jones's boat race is, is much, much amusement to be had. Peter Jones just looks bewildered. <laughs> Derek Cousins looks a bit bewildered. He, he's got something of like... I'm, who am I thinking of? Boris Karloff, no. Bella Lugosi, no. Oh, who is it? Ah, oh, what's his name? You can see him. Top of his head's big and the bottom of, head's, of his head's small. <laughs> Not the Mekong. Ah, oh, Lord. He's one of that old British horror movie. Not Vincent Price. Ah, oh, Lord, I've named all of them. I think he even played Sherlock Holmes once. Ah, it'll come back. But do you know what I mean? He's got that kind of ghoulish ghoulish look about him oh oh the stench of insomnia i don't even know i'll be perfectly honest i'm not even sure i know what it is but <laughs> it's I a traffic light do see is a flow flashing light right on a sign yeah has it cost you a lot of money to do um, about £24,000 so far, yeah. Shit, 24 bags of sand. That would give me eye bags like that, in fairness. £24,000. Yeah. Are you, are you are... <laughs> nice whistle, nice shirt, shame about the tie. They always seem to have weird angular tie issues on this show. It really does get my goat. I want to have a word with wardrobe. They need a flow signal on their tie. <laughs> Serious about this? Yes, go on. What's, what a flashing light on a, on a pole. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm serious about this. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, yeah, I am, I am serious, yeah. But wouldn't... <laughs> Peter Cushing? Who's Peter Cushing? Is that the bloke I'm talking about, or is he a snooker player? I might have made a really weird mistake there. Peter Cushing. I think that's what I'm thinking about. OK, continue. Can I please... It's not often I say yeah, this. Could one of the other dragons please interrupt me? <laughs> oh, um, hello, Derek. Hello, oh, <laughs> Derek. I don't like their little sexual chemistry, Jonesy and Meadham, because 
<laughs> that needs a flow single because trust me, it's only going one way, and it ain't from Jones to Meaden, but she she adores him. It's dis, it's it's I I, I despise it when um, Jonesy says I'll go in half if um, Deborah would um, go in the other half, and she says yeah yeah yes Peter I I I'd go along with that yes, and it's ooh. um. Have you had this approved? No. <laughs> no. I mean, he obviously must be talking about by the people that put road signs in place. Like a, a government agency. Uh, what will it be? The uh, Department of Transport. Have you had it approved? No. Nah. <laughs> no. Nah. Incredible. But something needs to be done because... So, at the moment, you have absolutely no idea because you know there's very strict regulation. Oh, yes, I know that. But you haven't done anything at all about oh, that? Oh, no, I've, I've, the, the lady who runs the signs and signals doesn't like the idea. So. <laughs> <laughs> the woman of the Department of Transport doesn't like it. Yeah, that's, that's the end. That's it, then. No. No, we don't want it. Stop. Good Lord. Now, you could argue, no, if, if you know, if, if people put walls in front of you in life, you, you climb over them and you fight for what you believe in. But this is shit, so don't. It's, sometimes a wall in front of you is a, is a message worth taking note of. She doesn't like the idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Well, another dragon. Please interrupt me. <laughs> oh no! Don't cuck yourself by laughing along with it. Oh, I sort of want to just take uh, Derek Cousins into my arms and stroke him, but he's far too ghoulish for me to touch. <laughs> Not a oh, it didn't last long though. The cuckery landed. It just took a little bit of time. Ayah. Great start for the inventor. Perhaps Theopophetus. Oh, comforting libidinal rhythmic movements from James Kahn there was unnecessary. That was a flow signal if ever I've seen one. <laughs> nice one, Danger. Can bring some order to proceedings. Well, Derek, I'm going to give you £50,000. Yeah. How am I going to make a profit from it? Well, because we'll be selling these, these signs worldwide. And no one else will be able to do these? Yeah, I've got a patent on it. What have you He's got them patented? What, traffic lights? Um, uh, <laughs> where did he get that done? Patents are us dot Russia. <laughs> got a patent for? Because it's a... A, a good idea. <laughs> and that's what patents are about, isn't it? If it's a good idea, you get it, yeah. Oh, Lord. No, 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 no. They, no. What have you got a patent for, for? For what? For using a display, which display... You see, it's mimicking the traffic that's coming towards you. It's red. It's highly visible. You're sitting in your peripheral vision, so when you're coming along, instead of missing the no-entry signs... Yeah, that weren't the question, though. What's the patent for? Not just explain a traffic light to us again which are up too high, which you can't see at the right angle, you will see this in your eye. I wonder if he lost someone in a car accident. And I, I don't mean to be mean. I'm actually trying to look for something to, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to understand his motivation, because this is clearly, this is clearly shit. Only because we've already got traffic lights and obviously they don't work as well as signs in certain situations. What is it that you've got a patent on? If you can it's, tell it's me. On, it's on these signs and their, their, their deployment for, for road safety applications. It's to do with mimicking traffic coming yep. towards you. Derek, listen. Yeah. Answer this question truthfully. You can't really think you can get a patent for flashing lights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, there he is, look. He, that, his look has got worse during this show. That... This is a, uh, you know, I honestly believe that that social situations can actually have that kind of dramatic effect on your face at rest. You know, it, it it can happen like that. You know that he didn't look that 
He didn't look like he's got the horrors that much. Look at the bloodshot eyes up all night. What darkness is in your history, Mr. Cousins? To stick on poles and make a fortune. Yes, I do. <laughs> you stand it by it. Derek's steadfast belief in his product may be admirable, but that's not enough for Pete. Uh, that little lizard tongue was disgusting. <laughs> to Jones. One thing that worries me, you spent £24,000. Yes. I need you, on all seriousness, this needs to be your wake-up moment. This will save lives. This will not save it lives will. at all. It and in fact, it could even be a major distraction if we're going to get serious. The oh, look, he never considered that. Oh, it's, it, oh, oh, it's even, it's just got even worse. I reckon Derek killed someone. Derek. Cousins, the the flow signal man, Mr. Flow Signal, run someone down in a hit and run years ago, and that's why he's dedicated his life to this bleakness. These signs have been in existence for a long time. They've been in the, the highway the, code has been in existence for a long time. Yeah, we all know it. We all get it. Do not spend one more pound trying to push this into the marketplace. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous, and then it is. For that reason, I'm out. Okay, fine. Derek, can I ask? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> ask you: Has anybody told you they think this is a good idea? Any chief constables? Any, any, anybody no, who can actually possibly any. have any influence no, at all no. on that? No, <laughs> just no, no. He didn't. He, usually, people say, "Well, yeah, you know, I've got friends and family," or, or they often go for that. Well, I've done some market research. You know, I asked. I asked at the local, uh, you know, farmers market, and twelve out of seventeen people said they liked it. He just went, no, 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 it's awful. Oh, technical difficulty. Apologies. But ever, ever being used or sold. Well, can I explain a can, little bit? Yes more? or no? Sorry. Just give me some names. No, no, I haven't got any names to give you. So the answer is nobody. <laughs> the answer's nobody. So we. <laughs> the answer's nobody. You stand in front of us with the person who's going to make a decision on whether or not they're introduced, telling you categorically, this is not going to happen, I do not like it. And I sit here smiling, and then I get serious. Whoa, I, go on, Maiden. I have never met you in my life before. I am pleading with you not to do it. And I think that's actually fair play. I mean, it's, this is, it, it is ridiculous. And, you know, 24 grand's a lot of money, and that money will just keep... Where did he spend that? I mean, you can buy some lights for what, get them off Alibaba for about a tenner. I bet some patent company absolutely, absolutely robbed him. Won't have I, I can't think where he spent that money. Affect my life at all, but it is going to affect your life. It already has. He looks like he's been dead and, and climbed back out of the coffin for a second shot. Well, can I can I finish telling you about the, the no. traffic light incident? No. <laughs> no. She said no. Can I finish, please? No, no you okay. can't. Well, you can then, but you can't tell me because I'm not at all interested. Fine. I'm out. I, I'm struggling, Derek. I've been driving for 30 years and yeah. I've never not recognised the no-entry sign. You know... I... <laughs> and there you go. You know, I, I don't drive, but I kind of trust that. Are, well, you, are well, you trying to solve... I know you haven't missed them, but people do miss them. Yeah, yeah. I wonder who that was. Derek Cousins. Look in your highway code. There is no wrong way sign in the UK. I'm just going to let you hear. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> <A remote. laughs> it's time to get back in the coffin, six foot down, get the soil back on and go back to where you were at least comfortable, at least not getting humiliated. You know, death is not the end, Derek. But sometimes life is. Look at him. If that person walked into your room, if he walked into my room, I'd be terrified. Because he's either about to kill me or has just killed someone or is going to kill himself. He has the face and the figure of death about him. Remarkably composed, Derek sees three dragons walk away from the deal. And Theo Pafitis is now ready to have his say. It's really strange that every time I watch Dragon's Den, I'm always reminded of Brave New World. I'm reminded of 
people at different levels of society. It isn't, and, and that includes my part in this. I'm not excluding myself from being part of that classist system, of course. Gonna work. Give it up. No, nope. Derek. <laughs> no, he will not give this up. He's he's he's. It's a belief system. This isn't business. This isn't about being an entrepreneur. This is a belief system, which is why he's. Uh, he, there's there's no getting through to him, and and that's why even though previously I was joking about maybe he hit someone or maybe someone hit someone he loved, I actually think there is something dark in his past to do with road traffic safety, and that's why it's a belief system rather than a, a well thought out and considered and researched um, business project. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm out. Okay, would, would you listen to me, Duncan, for five minutes? Oh, listen. oh my God! <laughs> would you listen to me, Duncan, for five minutes? Oh, let's hear that again, just because... Because it hurts. Derek. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm out. Okay, would, would you listen to me, Duncan, for five minutes? I'll listen to you, Derek. Thank you. <laughs> that was like the hot bird at school, just... Just humouring the bloke who wears like shackles on his leg. What, what what was the bloke at my school? He had some kind of weird stirrup on his leg. Poor fella. Right, there's another application. Look at them all laughing. Look at Duncan though, just already smiling. I'll oh, listen to you, Derek. This also addresses, and one is that when you're in a car park and you're looking for the exit sign, the one thing you the one thing you've got is that your eyes. You look around. Yeah. You're looking for that that arrow sign. <laughs> And <laughs> you have it going red. So what happens is that when, when all the arrows... Oh, Derek, I mean, it's carnage, isn't it, in car parks? It's just, there's cars going left, right, up, down. It's just bumpers falling off. Get the flow signals in there. A slick machine. It's all covered in snow and you can't see any of the arrows or they, they've worn out. <laughs> the Duncan's become a nodding donkey. You can't see. You look down one way and you'll see the red going down the way and you'll see the, the 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 green and the blue the other way telling you that blue hang on a minute you said amber red and green there's a blue flow signal now we now we're talking tells you there's some uh, something sensual going on up that alley <laughs> the green taking towards the exit and the blue taking you towards mole parking Derek. I said. <laughs> james khan's got his head in his hands i've never seen james khan's spine bent good lord Flow signals have had a, a desperate effect on the den. I'd listen to you because I wanted, didn't want to be impolite. Um, is there much more? <laughs> <laughs> he did ask for five minutes, though, Duncan, and you said yes. Well, I, I, was, I haven't really finished explaining about the traffic light problem. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> mm. You know, once we've my business we set up a uh, a live chat right so you go you go to the website and it says you want to talk live to one of our operators the first night i set it up there was about 12 people oh I, I was old in this is going back years when there was only like two or three of us running the business there was 12 i was old in a conversation with 12 people and although all of them started off asking about a product, by about the third or fourth exchange, to a man, they were on, you know, because I got laid off last month or another one would have been things like, you know, my daughters don't talk to me anymore. And I realised that, you know, loneliness and desperation are... You know, it's rife out there. And we had to abandon it. We had to absolutely abandon it because it just became like a... It, it became like the Samaritans. It was just lonely people who wanted to talk about, well, themselves, essentially, on and on and on. And it took me hours to close down those. I lied to them all. I, I said, listen, I do apologise, but there's been a fire alarm. And when that worked on one, I said it to all of them, and then I took that software off. How strange is that, that 
you you know you couldn't couldn't offer a live chat because too many people just wanted a live chat they didn't want to buy anything they just wanted to talk to someone that's that's heartbreaking really isn't it imagine that's you imagine you're the sort of person who goes to an e-commerce website sees that it says would you like to speak to someone and you're like yeah would you would you like to listen to me for five minutes you know imagine that's your social interaction and all jokes aside that doesn't surprise it, it doesn't actually it did at the time but now it, that doesn't surprise me at all because you know people are lonely people are alone the the the, the markets corporatism has has intentionally divided us intentionally made us alone because because to sell people things they don't need you've got to solve a problem to sell someone something you've got to solve a problem but to sell something they don't need you've got to let them know they've got that problem and what better way to do that than to make them lonely you know that's the the ultimate problem is being alone <laughs> I don't know what that face was, but it gave me the shivers. You win the worst invention ever to be brought into Dragon's Den today. <laughs> you know, the prize is yours. And Derek, Ouch. out. Thank you. Going from the left-hand side, you look at the no-entry sides <laughs> and see how easy it is for you to miss them. Derek, Derek. Thank you. Thank that you. way. Derek, that way. Down there. There's a sign there, that way. Oh. It's a swift exit for Derek. These dragons don't waste time when they can't see an opportunity. Well, um, I'll have a look and see what I can find out about Derek and his flow signals. I'll just give it the magic click. I found this weird website called Iptica. It's, uh, it's an, inv an inventor's website and it's got here flow signals. Derek Cousins Paintings. The second most viewed YouTube clip of Dragon's Den with just under 1.6 million views is Derek Cousins Flow Signals, a series of flashing lights. Derek lightly nicked off of Kit. <laughs> you know, Knight Rider on the front. <laughs> and stuck on traffic lights. Why, would any, why anyone would want to do that is beyond me. Why someone would spend good money painting it is bonkers but this Derek did with surprising results anyway it goes on the results ain't that surprising he he got his base I'll give you the very quick summary he got his paintings but they weren't really what he said they were and they got adjusted later to basically be um what is it yeah it, 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 they do this little summary here because like I say they got adjusted the patents so they were pending when he said he had the patents and a pending patent doesn't mean you got it it means they're looking at it and this bloke it, it, on uh, Iptica he says this is like patenting a flashing red light indicating danger <laughs> so lord knows what the hell's going on um, think what we may, but these patents were granted and the EP patent was subsequently extended to Germany, France, GB, Ireland and Switzerland. All the granted patents remain in force. Now that I've digested my hat, well, me too, in fairness, was the idea worth 50 grand of the 10% shareholding offered to the Dragons? The flow signals, uh, where, are, where are we? The flow signal system has not been em implemented anywhere. <laughs> Derek also tried his hand at fundraising on Crowdfunder, but had as much had as much success there as Jehovah's Witness at my front door. Apparently, commercialization of new products is far more predictable than the patent system. Let's see if we can find that crowdfunding lark. It's not looking good, people. <laughs> Flow signals by Derek Cousins in. <laughs> Derek Cousins in there at the end. 
Um, flow signals, the worst invention ever on Dragon's Den or a potential lifesaver that's urgently needed. You decide. And then it's got the sad face and it says not quite. That means he didn't earn enough money. Unfortunately, this project was not successful. And then it goes on about all what he said in the den. And uh, no, he, uh, he, he didn't earn enough money. See you later. Better to go see. Ta-da. Sweet, bit, 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 s